as we all know that Windows 11 testing bit has been released and you might be wanting to join the insider program so that you can uh, install your Windows 11. So Windows 11 is uh, available for for the insider preview and you can see there's a minimum requirements that you must have for you to install Windows 11. Windows 11 appears to be a very cool software that enables us to enjoy using Windows 11. So there are some minimum requirements that you need to meet, uh, like processor, memory, 4GB RAM, storage of 4GB, system that is supporting UFI or secure, is, a, is capable to securely boot, and TPM, which is a thing that most of people are fighting. They are not having TPM version 2.0. Most of the people are meeting all these requirements, but you find that uh, you're not meeting these uh, requirements. So I will just want to show you how you can enable TPM so that you can be able to install Windows 11. Okay. So as you can see, you first need to join the Insider program. And when you go to the Insider program, as you can see mine is showing, your PC does not meet the minimum re hardware requirements for Windows 11. Your channel options will be limited. You can click here to learn more about the requirements that, that you need to, to meet. So the thing you need to do is uh, you can check using Windows PowerShell, of which you can run as a administrator, so that we check um, if your computer is TPM enabled. To check if your computer is TPM enabled, you can type this small command on PowerShell. You open PowerShell and then you run it as uh, administrator. Then uh, you can check his TPM get. That is the command that you need to show you about TPM. Sorry, the command is get TPM. Eh? I'm sorry about that, guys. So as you can see, um. Mine is showing TPM present is true, yes. It is ready, true. TPM enabled, true, yes, because I have already enabled TPM on my side. If your TPM is not enabled, or if your computer is capable of TPM, here for TPM present, it will show that it is false. It is true. If it does not have TPM, it will show it is false. So earlier mine was showing true here for TPM present, and then TPM was not ready, it was not enabled, so it showed force on this on these ones so um, for it to work you need to enable TPM so to enable TPM we are going to to run a command TPM to open the TPM administrator so you just click the Windows plus R button and then you run this command I hope you can see it here you just type this, this command TPM dot msc and then you run it so as you can see here it's showing it's a window showing a uh, about tpm here on this section tpm manufacturers information is the one that's going to give you details about your tpm so the manufacturer is as ifx the version is 4.2 and the specification version is 1.2 but microsoft requires that you have 2.0 but on a recent release they said that is need to have 1.2 and above so you need to come and click this button here this prepare the tpm so once you click it it's going to prompt you to start it's going to prompt you to restart your computer and then it will tell you to fall on the on screen uh, uh, prompt so that you can be able to enable tpm once you restart eh, it's going to to show a screen showing that a request has been uh, requested to enable TPM. Just click F1, then uh, it will enable TPM, and then restart the, the computer. So, as you restart the computer, you can come and check using your your, your PowerShell. You just check the TPM, uh, you get TPM, get iPhone TPM, and then you find that uh, it will show as true and all those one. Then from there you can either decide to update or do what you want and store 
your videos. Thank you guys.